Hi, welcome back to Sadler Up Nails. For this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do this really cool rainbow snakeskin design using my rainbow snakeskin water decals. I'll put a link to them in my description box below. So we're starting off with Merry-Go-Round by Bio Seaweed Gel. And I am using a Prey Gel X medium natural square and this nail is prepped with young nails protein bond um, i just didn't show that in the video sorry about that and i am using my long fine liner brush by madam glam just to cut in uh, the line there and then i'm just using the regular polish brush to fill in the polish now this is just where i'm going to be putting down uh the decal and i am using white decal paper so i just wanted the back of the nail to have a color so you don't just see the white of the decal so that's why i put the color down first and it also kind of gives me a guide of where i want to put the decal now for the um, cuticle part of the nail or the nail bed I should say the cuticle why did I say that for the nail bed color I'm using um, jelly bean by bio seaweed gel which is one of my favorite colors for doing like you know French tip designs like it's my one of my favorite I guess natural nail bed colors so before we lay down the decal I am putting down um, a base coat because this purple polish merry-go-round it is a unity um color by bio seaweed which means it does not have a dispersion layer so there's no like stickiness or anything so i like to put down a base coat cure that so then it gives you a nice sticky layer that you can lay the decal on and then it's also kind of like what should I say? It's like slippery. It's not too sticky. So you can like slide the decal around and like get it into position, which I like where, I mean, some dispersion layers are really, really sticky where once you lay that decal down, it's like, it's not going anywhere. And then you try to move it and it rips. So that's why I, I like the dispersion layer of a uh, cured base coat when I'm putting down decals. Now, uh, you're going to want to wet the decal, um, let it sit. I like to let it sit for a minute just to make sure, you know, it's, it's ready and you know, it's ready when the entire decal can easily slide off the backing. If it feels stuck in any spots, then just wait a little bit longer or dip it back in your water. Um, just be patient and it, it will eventually all slide off in one nice piece. And so I laid it down on the base coat there and it stuck so nicely. And now I'm just going to file off the edges. I have tried using acetone to get the decal off and it is just, the acetone is so messy and it just makes the back of the nail look really gross. So I just prefer to file off the excess decal. It's a lot cleaner look and it's actually faster. Using the acetone took quite a while for it to actually like um, soak through and get the decal to break away at the edge. And then, you know, some of the decals stuck underneath and some of the acetone pooled under the, underneath the nail and started like breaking away at the actual nail. So, I mean, I don't like using acetone. I will forever now be filing away the excess decal off the edge and always file away from the decal. You don't want to file up um, against it because then you'll obviously peel the decal off. So now that it is cleaned up and filed off, I'm going to be adding another layer of base coat to make sure that decal is fully, fully sealed in. And this base coat obviously gets cured. I always cure 
after I apply polishes, I know I don't show it. And sometimes I get comments, you know, did you cure? Did you cure? Yes, you always cure the polish. I, I never work with wet gel unless I'm actually painting it. So after that's been cured, um, now I'm going to put down a top coat. Okay, and this is not the end. This is not the final top coat. Okay, this is still part of the decal application process. This is basically to make sure we have a, a nice a smooth base for when we paint on uh, the next detail work. So after that top coat, I am going to buff the nail. So this is to make sure the decal is smooth everywhere and it also helps seal in the edges better because if there is some decal left on the edge of the nail from when I you know originally um, filed it off it can cause lifting so I like to go around the edge after I've you know applied the base and top coat to get a cleaner um, a cleaner file on the edge of the nail because before I was being you know I was being really delicate trying not to um, peel the decal off so now using the Madame Glam long fine liner brush again and the same purple gel polish merry-go-round I'm just now painting along the edge of the decal and this just adds a nice decal and then or detail and then it hides uh, the edge of your decal so it's kind of like a dual purpose and now to add another pop of color i'm going to use madame glam's besame 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 i'm not sure um i absolutely love this color it is so gorgeous and i, I love working with madame glam um i do like madame glam a little bit better than bio cb gel i'm not gonna lie um, the formula is just a lot nicer to work with and rarely requires two coats. They are so opaque and cure beautifully. Um, I've never had problems with them under curing, um, because of how opaque they are. Um, now I'm going to finish off with my... Ugly Ducklings Matte Top Coat. Um, I mainly only use top coats from Ugly Duckling. Like, they're my absolute favorite, favorite top coats. Um, their polishes, however, a little bit too pricey for me. So, I really only spend my money on their top coats. Um, but I love Ugly Duckling. And look at this top coat. It is so nice once you wipe that dispersion layer. I find matte top coats that have dispersion layers are nicer and a lot better and less streaky than no wipe matte top coats. Um, so I don't know. That's a little tip. I don't know if anyone else has had the same experience. And now for the very final last detail of glitter. And now I'm finally showing you the brush I've been using the entire time. The Madame Glam Long Fine Liner Brush. This is my favorite brush. I pretty much use it uh, for all detail work, unless it's like super, super fine. Um, however, you probably could. You just put less polish or have a lighter hand. And now I am just doing stripes along the edges of the two other stripes. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, just to add some final glitter detail and they, the Madame Glam gel paints, which is what this silver glitter is, they cure to a shine. They don't have a dispersion layer. So you can use them as like final glossy detail work after you've done your matte top coat, which is obviously what I'm doing here. I do not need to go over these again with a glossy top coat, um, which is what I absolutely love about these gel paints so once i paint this on and cure it for 60 seconds these do need a full 60 second cure this nail will be finished so 
So here we are, the very last touch of the glitter. Um, now this is not a reflective, this is not a flash glitter. It kind of looks like it here, but it's not. It's just a really like micro silver glitter. And here are the nails on. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe.